Whether you celebrate today with a picnic, parade, or a day on the lake, Labor Day is a time to relax and celebrate the workers' holiday. ABC News Channel 20's Lindsay Hess is live in Springfield to tell us what some labor groups are raising awareness for today. Lindsay? Liz, we're out here at Douglas Park in Springfield where many families are enjoying the holiday. I've seen kids playing on the playground and families having picnics and playing games. Meanwhile, for labor unions, today is a time to reflect on how far the workforce has come and in celebrating public employment. Area labor unions and local organizations supporting labor marched down the streets of Springfield this morning to raise awareness for public employment. It's just bringing everybody together, you know, and um, it shows getting the support out here for all the unions and the jobs. And but the day didn't end there. Several labor unions came together at Center Park to continue the celebration with a picnic. Uh, having food, fellowship. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll we'll be out playing some games. And for those in labor unions, there's a lot to celebrate. Really, we're fighting for everybody. Everybody's benefited from what we've done uh, as far as 40-hour work weeks, eight-hour days, vacations, uh, paid holidays. After several years of the United States suffering from a struggling economy, union workers say there's more hope this Labor Day. You know, things have got to get better. They've been slow the last few years, but, you know, it's... it's uh, I think as everybody kind of figures out that, you know, we've got to move forward. We can't always be looking backwards. I think things will improve. Union workers add that Labor Day should be a celebration for everyone. Whether they are uh, within organized labor or they're just, you know, just out there making a living and trying to do the best for their families. Um, you know, anyone who goes out and works hard all year, um, they deserve a day, and this is our day. So. There were over six organized labor unions at the picnic. One man I spoke with said his son will be the third generation in his family to be part of a union. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Hess, ABC News Channel 20. Thanks, Lindsay. And just for fun, we're asking you on our Facebook page, what were your best and worst jobs? Betty Montgomery says she's enjoyed all of her jobs and you learn from each one. Heather Melvin says her favorite job is being a stay-at-home mom, but she says it's the hardest job she's ever had. And Diane Benjamin says her best job is working for herself, the worst, working for anybody else. You can join the discussion by heading to our Facebook page.